Here I'm going to show you how to create a drop down list in Excel. Now what I mean by that is here I've got a cell and I want it so that I can click the cell and then when I click it have a list appear below it say with all of these products in it. And I'm going to show you how to do it if the list is on the same page or the same uh, spreadsheet like this or for type if the list is on another tab so you don't actually have to uh, have everything on the same page basically. And I'm just going to use a very simple example that I have here and you can expand it for anything if you're creating a form or uh, something you want to be filled out by a large number of people it's very easy to do this. So I also have a list of the shortcuts we're going to be using Alt plus D plus L for data validation Control F3 for the name manager and F3 to paste the name. Now these shortcuts are going to work in all versions of Excel even though I'm using Excel 2007 here. So let's go ahead and begin. I want to make this product box here a drop down list or a drop down menu and I want it to have these populate the menu. So what you do select this cell and if you're in Excel 2007 you can go data, data tools, and data validation. Now if you have the Excel window full screen you're going to see data validation already on the ribbon. This window is going to open up and like I said you can use the shortcut Alt DL to get there as well and that's going to work for all versions of Excel. So Alt DL. Now once here don't forget you need to have selected the correct cell where you want data validation to work beforehand. So I want this cell and what we're going to do on the settings tab underneath allow click this and select where it says list now make sure that in cell drop down is selected otherwise it's going to be a different kind of a list then go to source and you can either type in a cell reference here or you can click this button right here and then select this list here so I'm going to click and drag I've selected those cells for the list. Click the button again. Click OK. And now we've got a uh, drop down list. So I can select anything from here. And the way this works, nothing or a user cannot enter anything that is not in this list. So if I click nails and then someone tries to type something in here and hits enter, it's not going to let them do it. So it basically prevents the user from entering anything. Uh, that you don't want them to. And that's how you create the drop down menu here. Now to create it on a different tab it's a little bit more involved and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that with the type over here. Now the best way to do this is if you create a name. So you create a named range. So what we're going to do is go to the list where we want to uh, populate this over here. Go to the type tab. Now I'm going to select this list here and up in the name box right here click that and I'm going to type in type. Now when you're done make sure you hit enter. Now what that means is these three cells now have the name type. So if I select one it just says the cell but if I select all three it's going to say the name so that's how you know it's there. Now I'm going to go back to my first tab click this cell then alt dl for the shortcut, go to allow, list, make sure incel drop down is checked, then here hit F3 and you see the name that we just created, type. So click that, hit OK. Now if you already remembered the name you could have simply typed in here equals type and that would have worked. So we're going to hit OK and now we have drop down menu based on another tab. So that way you don't have to have a very messy spreadsheet. You can have all of your data on another tab like this and then um, just have your drop down menus here. And if you ever need to edit the name that we just created type simply hit control F3. It's going to work for all Excel versions. Control F3 and you can see the name here. Defined name. 
and down here you can change whatever to, you can change it to whatever you want so you can change the cell references or even put a formula down here but that's how you can change it if you need to and if you want to delete it simply click the name hit delete right here and you can delete the name so that's how you can create a drop down box in Excel one last thing you you won't know that it's a drop down box at first see it looks like a regular cell but then when you click on it the arrow is going to appear so that's how you create a regular drop down list using data validation.